Hello, this is Timothy Perfect from Two Canoe Software, and I'm really excited to talk to you about a new product we're releasing called Signing Manager that allows you to sign applications such as macOS, iOS, watchOS applications without having the signing credentials locally on the machine, but are securely stored on a remote machine. So before we get into that, let me talk a bit about how signing works today. Um, so normally a developer or a release manager or a build server um, will use Xcode or the underlying tool called CodeSign to sign this application. In fact, Xcode uses CodeSign um, to be able to sign applications um, when it does this build process. It also, there's a, there's a tool called ProductSign that um, does signing of packages. And that does it through the local keychain APIs, which um, talk to the credentials, the certificate and the private key um, in the local machine. And those are all protected by the local user's password. So anybody that has local access to that, that keychain will have access to those credentials. So there's some issues with that. So as I mentioned, anybody with access to those keys can do signing operations on it. So you're not sure who did op what operations and what happens ultimately with those credentials. Um, when the certificate expires, it's difficult to update because you have to update it across all the different machines that those credentials may be installed on. And it's difficult to limit access since anybody that has physical access to that machine um, and has the local user account, they are able to um, have access to those credentials. And there's no auditing. If there's uh, who's doing what, signing when, to what applications at what time, um, you don't know because it's all happening locally on that machine. So that's the problem that Signing Manager solves. And so they, uh, Signing Manager allows you to, to select certificates but continue to use the, uh, uh, the credentials locally for those tools, but the, the actual credentials are stored um, not on that local machine. So let me talk a bit about how that works. So it's still Xcode, still uses the code sign command that uh, uses it to sign your applications. But instead of talking to the local keychain and signing the, uh, the application locally, it sends that uh, a hash or a, a, a hash of the application over HTTPS secured by SSL as well as uh, an API key um, to a signing service that um, we, we provide as part of the signing manager offering um, that runs on Mac OS, Windows, or Linux that you can put on an instance or on a server that you have in your location. And once it gets that piece of data to sign, it's signed with the private key on that remote server. And then that signature is passed back and incorporated into the application. So that machine that does the signing doesn't ever have access to the credentials uh, or the private key. So there's some huge advantages to that. So they don't have access to those private keys. So you don't have to worry about those private keys um, going someplace where you're not sure of. The local, the local signing is still, or the signing is still done locally um, through the native Apple tools, product sign or code sign, um, but you can limit uh, who does the signing. Um, so the uh, access to the API, it requires an API key that's installed locally. And so only um, machines that have that API key installed are able to do that signing. Um, since it's the, all the operations are done remotely, we do remote auditing of the signing operations. So you know who's signing with what API key, um, with what certificate at what time. So you, you have auditing. Um, you can easily update the identities when a certificate expires. Um, you just update it on the signing service and then it uh, continues to be available for signing operations. And it's equally effective through the UI or the command line um, since uh, normally over long periods of time the certificate doesn't change. It, you continue to do signing operations with that same one through your build system, through your release manager, or through the developers. It, it works great either way through the UI or through the command line. So the signing operation, it looks identical to what you would do for that you're doing today. So we use the code sign command, specify which certificate you want to use for the signing operation and what app do you want to be able to sign or what package. And then um, from there, it, it sends that blob of data off to be signed through the remote service um, secured by the API key and SSL. And then that signature comes back, it's incorporated into the app and then you have a uh, properly signed application. 
So the interface itself for Signing Manager provides shortcuts to be able to easily select commonly used commands or to be able to copy the common name or the uh, fingerprint for that certificate to specify which certificate. Remember, these certificates are not available in the keychain. So if you open up keychain access, you wouldn't see them. So Signing Manager will allow you to select those. Uh, we're making this uh, product available as open source. So it has a BSD style license. Um, we are selling integration services. So if you have a custom API, you wanna be able to do some custom authentication methods, um, we're able to do that. In fact, we've already done some integration with some custom web APIs, different authentication mechanisms. Um, and if you, we are making available ongoing support. Um, so if you want features or issue escalation, we're able to do that as well. So let's not talk about it. Let's actually show you how this works, how to get it all set up. It's very straightforward and uh, it's exciting. So let me show it to you. Okay, let me show you how this works. I have a macOS Catalina 10.15 machine here. Um, and I want to. I have two applications. One's called Test App and the other one's called Do Not Disturb Package that I want to sign. You can see my local keychain here doesn't have any um, certificates installed for signing operations under my certificates. So that's empty. Um, but then if we open up Signing Manager, you can see that I do have, um, through my server, I have two certificates available, one for signing packages and one for signing applications. So uh, let me sign the application first. So I'll open up the terminal and I will go to the one for um, signing the application, copy code sign command, paste it in a terminal. You can see it says code sign dash FS, which means to force the signature in case it already has one. Then I'll just drag in this test app and I'll hit return and it's signed. So it came back and if I run the code sign uh, to check the signature on it, you can see that it's now signed by the that certificate. So there's no uh, credentials locally on this machine, but I was able to sign this application through this the, to this service. So now if I do the same thing with a package, so if I go here and I do copy product sign command, and I paste that in, this one's syntax a little bit differently. I do the source, which is this do not disturb package, and I'll save it in the same location, but I'll give it a slightly different name. I'll just say dash signed. I'll hit return. Now it's signed and open it up you can see that it's been signed so um i was able to sign that that package without any local uh, identities so on the server side let me show you how that how the server is i am running a ubuntu uh, linux server so I'll authenticate to this and uh here i have in i installed in a folder on my SSL certificate and private key to secure the connection, my settings that has the two certificates I'm going to use to sign, and then the actual binary. And the binary is what I'm running here. So that's all it is for um, the uh, signing certificate. And then there's a log that's created for auditing. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please sure to visit us at twocanoes.com to download um, and try Signing Manager. Um, we're also on the Mac Admin Slack. So if you want to visit us, uh, Two Canoes has multiple channels there, including a channel for Signing Manager uh, to discuss more. And if you want to quote or be able to learn more about how you can purchase support or integration, um, please uh, send us an email at info at twocanoes.com or when you visit us at twocanoes.com, there's a, a link in the footer for uh, get more information and just uh, fill out the form there and, and we'll get right back to you. Thanks very much for watching and I look forward to hearing from you.